Aloha, Scott Silver Bell coming out from Sacramento, California, April 17th, 2017, 629 at night. Perfect day to talk about sales. It is always a good day to talk about sales. And we're talking in this series about why you would let somebody go as a salesperson. Now remember, I'm not an attorney. I don't play one on YouTube, so I'm not giving you legal advice. I'm just giving you generalities, okay? So here's the thing. The fifth reason why you would let somebody go is because you're worried about what they're doing out in the field. You're worried about who that salesperson is. You're worried if they're out there taking advantage of people. You're worried that they're not doing the right thing for your buyer. And I gotta let you know that most of the time when you have that feeling, when you have that concern, most of the time it's true. And I have had the responsibility and the pleasure of writing with a lot of salespeople. And sometimes I'll come across somebody and I gotta go to the business owner and I gotta say, hey, look, you got some choices to make. I don't own your company. I can't tell you what to do, but the salesperson that you're working with or you have working for you is a detriment to your company. You know, they're out there doing things that they shouldn't do. They're out there causing problems. Here's my grade. Here's my report card for them. And here's what the reason is that I think that they're causing problems. Now, sometimes the manager or the business owner goes and has a conversation with them and things change. But I will let you know that a good majority of the time, the person, the salesperson who acts like that doesn't matter where they go. They're going to do that. They're going to take that action. They're going to, they're going to be the guy or the girl that you don't want with your client. And if you got like that feeling like right here, why not like set up a sting operation? Why not hire somebody to go see their sales process? Why not make sure and validate, right? Trust but verify. That's, that's a saying that they use a lot of times on the news and the government. Trust but verify. So take some time, right? If you're worried about your buyer, why not follow up and ask some questions? Why not figure out what's going on? Because it really, at the end of the day, if it's your company or it's your department, it's your neck on the line, why not, why not take some time and figure out and make sure that person is doing things right? And I gotta tell you, there's a like if you're gonna go ride with a salesperson, it usually takes three days for that salesperson to hit a rhythm with you. And if they can't hit a rhythm with you after three days of, of writing with, with you, there's typically a problem because they're not using their real presentation. There's my super secret tip for you after writing with salespeople for almost seven years, okay? Now, if you could do a small favor for me, in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that'd be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there's a subscribe button. You know what you gotta do, you gotta subscribe. And then last of all, you can send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Why not even link to Scott Silverbell? We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.